Hey Bulldogs, Chris Bryant here. Got a huge CCNP route and t-shoot quick quiz for you. So I don't know how quick it'll be, but definitely some great information here for you. And we're going to be using live Cisco routers quite a bit in this one as well. I actually got a five part question here for you on OSPF route redistribution that I'm going to bring up right now. And we'll see all five of these answers again on live Cisco routers in just a moment. I need you to name for me. First off, if there is a default seed metric, for OSPF, tell me what it is. Next, tell me what the default route type is when a route is redistributed into OSPF. Third, tell me exactly what the metric in that particular route type indicates. Fourth, how exactly to change that default route type to the other type. And fifth, exactly what the metric of that route type indicates. So kind of five quick quiz videos here in one. If you want to pause the video here and think about your answers there for a moment, uh, I don't blame you at all. Like I said, we'll call up that router in just a moment. I want to thank you again, as you saw when you came in. We're actually over 9,000 video boot camp students and heading for 10,000. I'm just too cheap to buy a new banner, apparently. But the CCNP all-in-one $99 course is getting phenomenal reviews out there. You definitely want to check this out on Udemy because when you use the coupon code FOODBANK, you take the price from a very reasonable $299 for 50 hours of my world-class training to $99. If you want the individual CCNP courses, they're also available on Udemy for me at $44 a piece, but you definitely want to be a part of this deal for $99. Now let's head right back, or actually to the routers. Let's get back to the questions here. And the first one, what is the default seed metric of OSPF if there is one? Well, there is one. Not every routing protocol has a seed metric for routes redistributed into it, uh, but OSPF does, and it is 20. So what is the default route type when a route is redistributed into OSPF? Let's do a little redistribution, and we'll actually see that seed metric and a couple of other values in action. Router 2 here has an OSPF adjacency across an Ethernet segment with Router 3. Router 2 is also getting a RIP route from another router, and that is what we're going to redistribute into OSPF. And of course, we start with redistribute, and we're going to do RIP. Now, what else do we really need to put there? It's not necessarily requ it's not required, but what should we really always put here? Subnets. You definitely want to use that subnets option. And that's it. So I'll do a save there and we'll go over to router three, see if the route is there yet and it's not. So let's go back to two real quick. I should have done a quick clear. And we'll go from there. Actually router three's probably already got it, so. Uh, that time and there we go so as soon as I hear rip I think oh slow redistribution but of course we're taking a rip route and putting it into OSPF which is much quicker so a couple things to note here first off here's that default seed metric of 20 and notice the code is OE2 which according to our routing table is OSPF external type 2 tells us a lot huh well in this particular case uh, with question two, again, that's going to be OE2. And what does the metric in that route type indicate? Well, what the metric is of 20, that reflects the cost going from the ASBR, which is router two, the route, the router performing the redistribution, to the final destination. It does not reflect the cost going from the local router, router three, to router two, because we know that's an Ethernet segment. So what's the OSPF cost for that, the default cost? 10. So that's an, always been an interesting default to me. I'm not that crazy about it because I like to see the metric of the entire path, but that they didn't ask me when they developed it. Now, how are we going to change that route type to the other type? Well, first we have to know what the other type is, and it is E1, OSPF external type 1. And here's how you can make that happen. I'm going to take that first redistribution statement off. Redistribute RIP subnets. And then what you want to use is metric type. 
and is simply OSPF and IS to IS exterior metric type for redistributed routes. So it's really, here iOS help is not really giving as much of a clue as to what that is, so we better know what it is and why we're doing this. And there's the metric type, and again, it just explains to us one or two, and we're going to put one. So let's go over to router three, and it's already showing up as we'd expect. Notice the metric code has changed, the metric type has changed to E1. In E1 metric, notice that has changed to 30. When you see E1, you know that the metric here, the cost, the OSPF cost, reflects the cost from the local router to the final destination. That's why the overall cost changed. So it's an odd little default between the two there, um, but that's exactly what it stands for, what it means. So let's go over those again on one board here. The seed metric of OSPF is 20. The default route type of a route redistributed into OSPF is E2. That route type's metric reflects the cost from the ASBR, which in this case was router 2, the router doing the redistribution, to the destination network. We were able to change that route type using the metric type option on the redistribute command. And then finally, the E1 route type's metric reflects the entire cost of the path from the local router to the destination network. So a lot going on there. I think you'll agree with me. That's worth an extra couple of minutes today. And I thank you for spending those with me. Check our other videos out on YouTube as well. I'm Chris Bryant. Thanks for making us part of your CCNP success story.